Very good. Thanks for having okay. me. So <laughs> having nice to having you here. So what is the Korea mean to you? Well, it has a lot of meaning to me. Well, Korea is where most of my family still lives. Um, obviously, there's a language and cultural barrier since I was born and grew up in the U.S. I uh, think of Korea as a country that, you know, has a lot of talent and it, I think of a, a lots of potential. I think of Korea as a place where something like a new technology could easily be um, created and born. Sure, I think, uh, I mean, AI and robotics are both fields that have um, are just beginning to develop. I think it has a lot of uh, potential for students to really get to know um, and to be able to uh, lead the frontier. You know, to work hard and to be able to understand the technical aspects of these fields, to learn as much as they can about math, science, engineering when they start, and then to have great ideas that they can contribute to uh, future directions in both AI and robotics. Yeah, I, I think that uh, robotics and AI should not be distinct disciplines. I know in Korea that they think of them as separate disciplines, but I think one of the best applications of AI is to create robotic systems that are intelligent. And so the combination of having uh, intelligence that's embodied in the physical world is a powerful thing to, to consider. I think AI and robotics should be kind of a single discipline, not a separate discipline. Well, I think my goal right now is to make robots not so stupid. So it's uh, still, as I said, a long ways off. However, there's, you know, I, one thing I learned about um, science is you should never say never. So we will see if there, at some point that we do have human-like capabilities and whether we will surpass those capabilities at some point. But at this time, I don't see that happening in the near-term future that we should be worrying about it. I think AI will still always be a tool for humans, right? That's the way we should approach it. In terms of having capabilities maybe, but in terms of having consciousness or sentience is still, I think, almost impossible. So I think of AI systems, robotic systems, as tools for humans to improve their daily lives. And uh, this is how we can kind of go about that, I, I don't, you know, that kind of relationship. Um, it's actually ironic that the things that are easy for AI is quite difficult for humans and the things that are difficult for AI are quite simple for humans. So, you know, some of the things, technologies will obviously replace some human labor in some fields, but there's many fields that humans are still very much needed and we don't know how to handle that with robots or with AI. You know, very long time before we can say that robots will take every single job. But obviously there will be friction because as, as technology advances, uh, humans need to also learn new skills but I think this will continue as it has in the past. Um, I think actually the best books are science fiction. You know, just to get ideas of what might be possible, what is actually gonna happen in the future. Some imagination is actually um, important to have kind of a dream, a goal to what you would like to build. You know, in my, in my mind, I think that's the inspiration is first, and then you should read, you know, technical books that describe the basics of mathematics, statistics, probability, geometry, um, engineering, you know, electrical engineering, computer engineering, uh, computer science. These are all things that are necessary technical skills, but without the inspiration, all that is, is meaningless. Um, I think I like to read some biographies of scientists, Einstein or Feynman or some of the big scientists, and just to see how they were able to change the world by just their ideas. And I think that's an inspiration to all of us. We live in a world that we can understand, that we can kind of use a, a sci mathematics and science to describe it. That's an amazing kind of capability. And that the fact that our brains are able to comprehend that is also amazing. So, you know, finding out how previous scientists and engineers really thought about the world, I think is always nice to read. I guess I, I think, um, you know, with this program, I think it's always good to try to inspire the next generation of students. Um, AI and robotics is an uh, up and coming burgeoning field. You know, I think Korea has, as we talked about, has a lot of talent in this area. And we, we would hope that the young people watching this would be able to take it even further than what we've been able to do.